Greetings, Thomas here. Um, just wanted to uh, do a little quick video on some of the terminology that we use. Um, we have been kind of doing this for three and a half years or so, and we've been kind of putting a lot of uh, terms into it because we need to come up with terms that are both kind of Star Wars universe and uh, descriptive to what we're doing. So uh, there's often a lot of uh, confusion. Now, we do use terms from canon, but we don't necessarily use them the same way. So I'll just kind of go over a few. Um, first of all, the one word that we have all in common is velocities. Velocities are those two-person exercises that we do. Um, those are the, the, the basis for pretty much all of the kind of combat strategy and all of that. Um, also, we have accelerations. Accelerations are the drills, the solo drills. They're usually done in repetition over and over and over again. And if you think about it, the term acceleration, building up speed, building things up, that's the purpose of that particular uh, style training. Um, Dulan, um, which is a canon term, but it is kind of nebulous into what it means, we use almost exclusively for solo sets, which are large, complicated sets of lots of movements, essentially like choreography with one person. Um, and they have, you know, a variety of different uses and, and all of that kind of thing. Within Dulan, each Dulan has sections. Um, and these sections we call trajectories uh, for obvious reasons. Again, we're trying to be as descriptive as possible while staying with the spirit of uh, Star Wars and the stuff that's already kind of gone before. Um, <clears throat> let's see, the last, uh, another one that, w that kind of causes a lot of confusion is our orbits. Um, the orbits, all of those terms, the term orbit, the term grand procession, all of that kind of thing, it is unique to us, it's not a canon term. It's um, some other people may, may be using it as well, right? And that's, that's fine by us. We, we like uh, introducing this kind of stuff and talking on the same level. Um, obviously, orbits are pretty self-explanatory. You're getting your saber to kind of orbit your body all of that kind of thing. And of course it has space connotations and all of that. Um, in some of the other forms, you'll notice that a lot of the uh, vocabulary is taken from astronomy. Um, the moon guards in Makashi in form two are based on the phases of the moon. Um, that will be expanded even more in the uh, form five stuff that's coming out. Um, so there's the phases of the moon. Uh, you've got your photosphere, uh, chromosphere, and corona, which are all thing, uh, aspects of the sun. So if we think about the, the tip out here being the edge of the sun and the hilt down here being the core of it, when we move it like that, we're kind of outlining that thing. And so those, those little terms kind of add flavor, help people kind of look at this type of thing. So uh, there, that's, that's kind of where we're, we're coming from. Then. So those are kind of the terms that we've introduced and we're, we're, we kind of use and, and we throw out there. I know a lot of people kind of confuse velocities and accelerations or trajectories and, and all of this stuff because they're all kind of the same term. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I pretty much picked those words, trajectory, velo uh, well, I didn't pick velocity, but um, trajectory and acceleration based on velocity. Um, different aspects of that and, and all of that. So hopefully that gives a little bit of insight into some of the terminology that's coming out. Um, I will try to put together a large list um, and when we fully update the website, all that terminology should be um, written out in nice, concise form. All right, well, that was just a quick video. Hopefully that uh, clears some stuff up. I will see you around the interwebs. And uh, don't forget to join us on Facebook. Uh, share and subscribe. Comment on the, comment on the, uh, the, the comments there. And uh, have a great day. Happy Sabering.